Hello there, welcome to my views and news. It seems viewers that Ethiopian PMRB has committed a strategic blunder. What he said four days ago is uh, being uh, criticized, it is being rejected by regional neighbors. We saw a statement from Eratia now. Uh, Somalia is speaking as well, a country where one third is under the control of uh, uh, Al Shabaab fighters. It is talking about territorial integrity and sovereignty. What did the PM say? Why is Somalia not happy? What did Eretia say? Uh, Somali activists have been speaking against Ethiopia for the last two days. Who is behind them? Is Eretia backing them? Let's start uh, from PM Abi's speech four days ago when PM Abi spoke about uh, Ethiopian needs for having access to the Red Sea. Much of his talk was focused on Eritrea. Obviously, he sent a message to Eritrea to talk to Ethiopia because Ethiopia wants access to the Red Sea. Uh, talks, maybe indirect talks held in the past too, but nothing worked. And through uh, a public uh, appearance, PM Abi tried to send a message to Eritrea to come to the table. But the message uh, was rejected by Eritrean government. Eritrean government issued a statement rejecting possibility of talks uh, with Ethiopia. And before that, we saw uh, statements from Eritrean uh, diplomats, one diplomat spoke saying there, there were no ifs and buts about Eritrean uh, sovereignty and territorial integrity. So Eritrea outrightly rejected uh, PM Abi's uh, speech and PM Abi's call for talks. And uh, for the last four days, we have been seeing Eritrean activists, uh, journalists, uh, news outlets uh, criticizing Ethiopian government, Ethiopian PM Abi. And then we saw that Somali activists joined to Somalia's activists and they started criticizing Ethiopian government, criticizing Ethiopia, saying that Ethiopia uh, annexed uh, Somalia's territories in Ogaden War of 1970s and now Ethiopia wants to annex more territories. And then came official statement from Somalia's government. Uh, Ali Umar is Somalia's state minister for foreign affairs. He talked to the Bloomberg. Bloomberg contacted him and asked about Somalia's position regarding uh, PM Abe's remarks about uh, access to the Red Sea. What uh, Ali Umar said indicates that uh, Somalia and Eritrea are on one page. PM Abi is going to face now joint opposition from two countries about what he said a few days ago, four days ago. What did Ali Umar say? Ali Umar in his text message to the Bloomberg said, quote-unquote, uh, almost quote-unquote, Somalia highly, uh, Somalia is highly committed to enhance peace, security, trade, and integration with Ethiopia. But it isn't interested in uh, providing access to a strategic asset such as a port to Ethiopia. Uh, Somalia's uh, sovereignty and territorial integrity is not open to discussion. This is what Somalia is saying, a country which is relying on African uh, force, a government which, which is relying on African troop support, a government which is relying on foreign financial support for its budget, a country where Ethiopian forces have been deployed for years, part of MSOM, uh, apart from MSOM as well. This country is talking about territorial integrity and sovereignty, not interested in giving access to Ethiopian government, 
to any of its strategic assets, including ports. A country where uh, outsiders, foreign uh, powers uh, have immense penetration, where UAE is uh, developing a port, where Turkey has a military base, where was Somalia's territorial integrity and sovereignty when it agreed to host uh, uh, a military base of Turkey? when it allowed UAE to build uh, a port here. Why is this country now uh, so uh, sensitive about its uh, territorial integrity and sovereignty? reason is simple. There is eritia behind Somali. I have been saying that uh, national, internal, regional, international atmosphere is not in favor of Ethiopian PMRB or in favor of Ethiopia launching a war on Eritrea. That is why no war is on the cards. Issa Asafwerki has done, has done some regional work, strong allies, now he has in the region. Uh, Hassan Sheikh was a critic of Issa Asafwerki when Hassan Sheikh was in, was in opposition. But since he came to power, he has been all praise for Eriti and President Sassavaki. Thrice he has visited Eriti so far. Just uh, a week ago, he was in Eriti, warmly welcomed by Sassavaki. He stayed there and then he returned. And after that, we saw start of return of Somalia soldiers from Eriti. Eriti is training Somalia's military, Somalia's Air Force, Somalia's naval forces. And these uh, in, in infantry soldiers are part of the operations against Al Shabaab fighters. So, uh, Hassan Sheikh is all praise for his Asawaki. He was heard saying when he was in Asmara that uh, Eriti would uh, help Somalia regain its status on international level. That is why. Now what Somalia is saying, it is basically Eritrea behind Somalia. Somalia is playing second fiddle to Eritrea. Uh, and uh, uh, Somalia-Ethiopia relations could not improve a lot since uh, the uh, since uh, Hassan Sheikh came to power. Uh, Hassan Sheikh's uh, predecessor uh, was uh, close to PMRB, Farmajo. Farmajo, PMRB, Issa Asafwerki were on one page in 2018 when they signed an agreement. They reached a deal about uh, regional cooperation integration, but things changed after Pretoria deal and we saw gradual build-up of tension between Ethiopia and Eritrea. And then Eritrea started its regional uh, efforts. It reached out. It uh, saw he visited uh, Kenya. He visited Kenyan uh, president to visit Eritrea. Hassan Sheikh was invited as well. Uh, now we're seeing that Tessa Savoki is in close contact with William Ruto of Kenya, Hassan Sheikh of Somalia. Where is Ethiopia? Where is Ethiopian PMRB? Isn't it that the Prime Minister of Ethiopia committed a regional strategic blunder? He is alienating Somalia too. He alienated Eritrea too. Isn't Ethiopia uh, losing the case for having access to the Red Sea by taking a position uh, publicly. It shouldn't have been better had the Ethiopian government continued negotiations with Eritrea, with Somalia, with Somali land, with Kenya. No statement from Kenya, by the way. Kenya could also uh, feel that PMRB's statement was directed against Kenya, but no statement. I have not seen a statement from Somali land too, but people there are speaking as well. So basically, Issa Sevoki is trying to create a regional front against Ethiopia. PMRB 
will have to find allies not only outside but inside too. But his government is not willing to talk to disgruntled elements in Ethiopia. I think if he wants to reiterate Ethiopian claim to the Red Sea, he cannot do that without creating internal unity and consensus. Amhara region-based groups are outrightly rejecting PM Abi's call for having access to the Red Sea. No internal unity. Sudan, uh, an Ethiopian neighbor, uh, is relying on Eritrea for recognition of Al Burhan's government. Somalia now up in the arms against Ethiopia. By the way, Somalia, Ethiopian forces are deployed on Somalia's territory. We know that for years. Uh, not on border, but on Somalia's territory. And Somalia never complained about its territorial integrity and sovereignty. Ethiopia has bases on Somalia's territory. No complaint. But now, Eritrea is behind Somalia. It is asking Somalia to take a strong position against Ethiopian PM Abi's speech about access to the Red Sea. Ethiopian regional foreign policy is in a bad shape. Ethiopian government will have to revisit its uh, regional foreign policy, especially with regard to access to the Red Sea. Otherwise, uh, Ethiopia is being isolated. Isasevuk is rapidly isolating Ethiopia. If Kenya, Somalia, uh, Sudan start supporting Eritrea, which they are. It means uh, Issa, Issa Sevoki has managed to isolate uh, Ethiopia. So I think uh, serious rethinking is required. Otherwise, we could see tensions rise on Ethiopian borders. Ethiopia, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Sudan, Ethiopia, Somalia border as well. How can Ethiopia even think of starting a war against Eritrea if its border with Sudan, border with uh, Somalia are destabilized and its internal situation is uh, not under the control of the government? Too? Let's see, will the government realize, will PM Abe's government realize that it has committed a strategic blunder? Maybe PM Abe's government should P.M. Abi himself should try to clarify what he meant when he spoke for 45 minutes. He, he, should, he should try to control the damage which has been done when it comes to Ethiopian regional foreign policy.